decided to make a short improv 2 vlog my hair is unkept and I don't care about uh, Deep Purple, Ian Gillan, Richard Blackmore, Steve Morse, all that stuff I have two things to say first of all um, of course the latest comment by Ian Gillan that reuniting with Blackmore for just one night would be like opening an old wound man it's just beginning to heal don't poke it with a stick man and uh, it's one of the funniest things it's like oh the wound is healing we we, we talk with Richie you know we talk with them and uh, but I don't wanna spend like one night on stage with them because so is the wound healing or is it not? Um, from what I understand is Richie was a terrible terrible man and he was d super difficult to work with so they he had to leave and uh, Ian has like some very bad memories okay here's a question um, if Richie was that difficult and that terrible like just terrible terrible man why is it that Richie is the one who's offering Ian a reunion? Richie is the one who brought it up. He said, I'm willing to do one more show, maybe just one song, on stage together. He's willing to do that. So the question is, if Richie is the difficult one, why is it that he is willing to extend a hand of friendship and Ian is saying no. It's like, um, no matter what he said to you, Ian, are you, are you really still salty? I mean, he didn't break your arm, he didn't steal your girlfriend, right? Or did he? Maybe it was about a woman all along. Anyway, um, Ian is right to say that if he doesn't want to do music with Richie, he is not obligated to, that's fine, but not do one more concert, just one more song? Ian, I think you're overdoing this. Anyway, and uh, I also wanted to talk about Steve Morse, because there's this dumb, 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 like, 20-year-old argument that can Richie Bl Blackmore be replaced? I think he can. And the reason is um, just because one man can fit a role in the band doesn't mean another man cannot come and fill that role as well. Because it's not as simple as, well, this guy is perfect and no one else can take his place. No, it's not like that. It's a... Uh, you can have two perfect guys who both can fit and that's the case for uh, Steve Morris because if you if you don't see it as nostalgia as like your childhood if let's say Perpendicular or Bananas is the first Deep Purple album you ever heard the guitarist fits he, he, because Deep Purple is essentially May brought it up and it is always true a live band, a jam band. It is an instrumental live jam band. It's like a bunch of musicians like jamming together. And S Steve Morse, he fits. He he can do live shows and it f sounds natural. His guitar style fits with uh, was it uh, Roger Glover's, I guess. I'm not the biggest fan. Uh Roger Glover's bass, I I Ian Pace drums. Their current uh, keyboardists, of course John Lord when he was alive. Richie Blackmore could f fit in this puzzle called Deep Purple and Steve Morris also fits this puzzle called Deep Purple. So who cares? It's like Richie is so perfect no one can replace him. No. Richie is unique. No one can replace him. But Steve Morris is also unique. It's like Steve Morse is not supposed to be Richie Blackmore. He is not. He is Steve Morse. He is who he is, and he does fit, and the band does work with him. 
So if you think uh, Richie could, should have stayed, you're being uh, egotistic because he didn't want to stay. He didn't like it anymore. No one liked it. That's why the band fell apart at first because Richie didn't want to stay and they didn't want to keep Richie. They were together for a couple of albums and it was over. It was a good thing and it ended. And uh, the Steve Moore era was a different purple, but it was still purple. It's like new things aren't bad, different things aren't bad. That doesn't mean they're always good. Change isn't just always good, it's not inherently good, but in the case of Steve Morris, it is an inherently neutral change. It's a different sound, a different guitarist, but just like Richie, he does fit, he works as a part of the big, scary, deep purple machine. A machine that actually ended on a high note. I have to comment Gillen on that. Although maybe it wasn't just him, maybe it wasn't just his own decision. But to end while you're ahead, to quit while you're still old enough to perform, but not too old to be an embarrassment, that was a great decision. It's a, it's a good thing that they ended. It's better this way. But again, um, Ian Gillen is being dumb for not accepting Richie's offer to do one more show. It is a dumb decision. It is an emotional decision, and uh, he can talk all he wants about the wound being healed. No, it's not healed, dude. Get over yourself. You, he still haven't gotten over it. And uh, again, Steve Morse is a good guitarist. He's a good deep purple guitarist. Live with it.